Greetings, peepers and peepetters. I am The Wrestling Fan, and welcome to a very special rendition of The Wrestling Fan <laughs> Shoots On. Now, The Wrestling Fan Shoots On is supposed to be about me going off about current, you know, wrestling stories that really piss me the fuck off. But since it is... <sighs> anyway, I decided to shoot on something from WrestleMania's past that still really pisses me the fuck off. All right, show them what I'm shooting all over. Okay, some of you may understand why I'm shooting all over this, some of you may not. Let me explain. WrestleMania 25 was not a bad WrestleMania. It, of course, has what I feel is the greatest WrestleMania match of all time, Undertaker vs. Shawn Michaels. Now, why is it the greatest? It's The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels in a 30-minute classic in Texas, where they're both from, at the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. And it was a tremendous match. Sorry, I love Sa Savage and Steamboat, but this match topped it. Just meant a lot more. If you want to argue with me, don't really give a shit. My opinion, my show, thumbs up. Anyway, it was pretty hard for the two world title matches to go after this Undertaker-Shawn Michaels classic. But they did it. Now the first one, which was a triple threat match for the world title, Edge defending against John Cena and Big Show, was actually a pretty good match for what it was. The crowd got into it. The main event, though, was Triple H defending the WWE title against Randy Orton. And I know, <laughs> we've seen that a billion times before. But this actually had a damn fine storyline going into it. Randy Orton the year before got injured, actually during his feud with Triple H, and he was out for most of the year. When he came back, he had a ton of momentum, and the crowd was actually really behind him, even though he was a bad guy. He seemed to lose a lot of his baby fat, and got new tattoos, shaved his head, he just looked... He looked cool. And he put together his legacy, his group, that would help him, you know, get to the top of the WWE. Out of nowhere, he punts Vince McMahon one night on Raw, punts him right in the head, and really hard. Okay. That's pretty cool. Shane McMahon comes in, and they start fighting. And Randy Orton wins the Royal Rumble that year. And then him and Shane have a match at the next pay-per-view. And he ends up punting Shane in the head, taking him out of action. Holy fucking shit. He's taken out the entire McMahon family. And then he RKO's, or DDT's, I can't remember, Stephanie McMahon. And then Triple H came out and finally showed that he's still a member of the McMahon family. One of the worst kept wrestling secrets ever. But still, it was really cool. And it made for some good drama and a good storyline. Only once did they really fuck up, and that's when Triple H went to attack Randy Orton at his home. It was too cinematic. It was just a waste of fucking time. I really hated it. But... I was actually really excited about this match going in to WrestleMania 25. I thought that it could steal the show. And I had heard they were going to make the match a no-holds-barred match or a hardcore match. Something where they could use weapons and really beat the shit out of, out of each other. Because this rivalry had gotten insanely personal. And then I heard it. It was just going to be a regular fucking wrestling match. Oh, well, that's not boring or anything. Randy Orton just took out the entire McMahon family. He's facing Triple H, his former mentor, and a guy who's beat him, you know, for a title, for the world title a couple of times. Someone who's been a thorn in his tattooed ass since he started in the WWE. This is going to headline WrestleMania. Randy Orton won the Royal Rumble. He's got all this fucking momentum. He's got everything going for him. He's got the legacy. So then we go into WrestleMania 25, and in one of the most boring main events ever, because... They couldn't use weapons. If Randy Orton tried to get disqualified, or if Triple H tried to get disqualified, he'd lose the title. If Randy Orton tried to get disqualified, he'd get disqualified and he'd lose the title and he wouldn't win the title. It was just a normal fucking wrestling match and it was boring as shit. In the very beginning, they hit the pedigree and the RKO. I understand what they were going for, but it just kind of took the air out of the arena and the rest of the match sucked. But I would be okay with the match sucking 
if Randy Orton had won. And spoiler alert, Triple H won. There was no interference, no nothing. Triple H defended his WWE title. Okay, did any of you out there really give a flying shit about Triple H defending the title once again at WrestleMania successfully? I didn't. This was Randy Orton's moment. This was his WrestleMania moment. This was his main event for the WWE title. He had all the momentum in the world. Why not for once let the bad guy win in a main event? The crowd wanted it. They didn't give a flying poop about Triple H defending the title once again. Instead, how about Triple H defends the title, and then the very next month at Backlash, we're going to have a six-man tag match for the WWE Championship. Ooh, that's just a great stupid fucking idea. It's going to be uh, Triple H, Shane McMahon, and Batista, the returning Batista, ooh, that is really fucking exciting, versus Legacy. And yes, the match itself was actually very good, and Randy Orton ended up pinning Triple H for the WWE title. Why the fuck would they not do that at WrestleMania? Not the six-man tag match, but why would they not have Randy Orton win the title, then have that six-man tag match at Backlash, and Randy Orton retains again, punch Triple H through his big fucking nose, and then Triple H is out, Randy Orton is the king of the WWE. Nobody, nobody can take him out. He's got his legacy, he's got the title, he's invincible. That makes for a great heel in wrestling. They dropped the ball on this, I mean, just fucking dropped it. It plummeted. And I don't know what the hell they were thinking if, if they really thought people gave a shit about Triple H, you know, winning that match since he was the good guy. Let me tell you something, this isn't 1985, you know, Sometimes it's good for the good guy to win, most of the time it's not, because a lot of the time the bad guys are cooler. Sorry, that's just the way it goes nowadays. But the way the story was going, yes, Triple H was the good guy, he was the face. But we've seen Triple H tear Randy Orton apart time after time after time, and they have great chemistry together, but it's boring. This could have finally been Randy Orton taking Triple H out. He took out the McMahon family. The WWE is his oyster. It's all his. I'm just a regular wrestling fan. I don't know everything about the business. And maybe some of you will disagree with me. I would love to hear if you do. But that was the dumbest fucking mistake and made for the one of the worst WrestleMania main events of all time and one of the biggest WrestleMania fuck-ups of all time as well. It was awful. I mean, it's all these years later. I'm honestly still really pissed about it. And Randy Orton's title reign was marred because of it. That crowd in that arena, and I think watching at home for the most part, the majority wanted him to win that title. That would have been... A classic WrestleMania moment. The heel wins in the main event at WrestleMania. And there should have been interference from Legacy, the McMahons, hell, even the returning Batista. He could have came out. That would have been really cool. And finally, Randy Orton wins. There should have been weapons. Of course, no blood. It's PG. But that's fine. Weapons through the crowd. They could have had a classic Attitude Era type match. And they fucking blew it. Triple H hasn't come out against it. Randy Orton's tried to tell people why it went the way it went. But honestly, you can tell he's pretty fucking pissed off about how it went. That was supposed to be his moment. Triple H and the WWE took it away from him, which I don't understand since Randy Orton is one of the top guys. <sighs> that really felt good to finally just get off my chest. I'm not even going to fucking lie. I bitched about it, but never at that length. <sighs> so... What WrestleMania moment do I think is the worst? And there were far worse. WrestleMania 25, the main events. That about ruined it for me. I mean, honestly. I I didn't really watch WWE much after that. It just fucking ruined it. And thank God last year with the CM Punk thing, it kind of got me interested again. But I like Randy Orton. I don't think he's one of the greatest ever, but he's damn good. I mean, he's really good. And he's fun to watch, or was. He's kind of stale right now. And Triple H is doing this thing. But hopefully this WrestleMania in the main event of The Rock and John Cena, you know, everyone keeps thinking that Cena's going to turn heel. I thought he was, but I really don't think he's going to. If he does, that'd be fucking awesome. It, it could be a whole new career for him and a new beginning for the WWE. But I understand why they don't. I really do get it and I respect it. That match is going to steal the show. It's going to be the biggest match. It's going to have the crowd on their feet. It has to go on last that's the mistake they made at WrestleMania 18, putting Rock and Hogan, you know, below the main event. It just sometimes, even if the world title's not on the line in the match, the match can still mean more than the world title. And this one does, and they know it. And it is the main event. And it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. So hopefully this WrestleMania, they don't fuck up too much. 
it's looking pretty damn good. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, my new episode of The Wrestling Fan, where I review WrestleMania 9, I promise it'll be up by WrestleMania. So it'll put you in that WrestleMania spirit and watch me tear apart WrestleMania 9. But that is what I feel is the worst moment in WrestleMania history, at least to me. I shot all over it. I feel better. I'll stop talking now. Thank you very much. See you soon.